Oh, you probably know about this allergy season. It's in full swing, but you aren't the only one suffering. Chances are you're seeing some allergy symptoms in your pets as well. The question is, are those symptoms seasonal allergies or something else? 7 Action News reporter Jennifer Ann Wilson explains why the main culprit is often something you least expect. From pollen to grass, summertime can make us human sniffle and sneeze, but pets react differently. It's just with animals, they tend to be more itchy, scratchy, chewy. Dr. Chris Cook at Blue Pro Veterinary Partners says food allergies are more common than seasonal, and the biggest culprit isn't gluten or grain like many think. It's, believe it or not, meat. Chicken by far is the most common, but I think that's probably because chicken is just the most common ingredient in all dog food and cat food. A food trial can help pinpoint the problem, eliminate the current protein, and swap in a new one. Premier Pet Supply in Beverly Hills has a number of alternative proteins you can try with your pet, like whitefish, kangaroo, herring. It's just really important to remember not only to look at the front of the package, but to read the ingredients on the back as well to make sure the protein you're trying to eliminate isn't in the mix. Diagnosing four-year-old French bulldog Gunther wasn't easy. He's allergic to pet dander and cotton and almost all proteins. Luckily, his owner Samantha Henson is a pet nutritionist. So with Gunther for the elimination diet, we did a kangaroo. And so when we did that, he improved drastically. She helps other pet owners troubleshoot too because she knows firsthand how challenging it can be. Gunther is my most difficult patient. We joke about it all the time. Any pet can have a food allergy, and experts say that if you notice they're having ear aches, rashes, paw irritation, it's important to call the veterinarian right away because the sooner you catch those problems, the sooner you can fix them. I'm Jennifer Ann Wilson, 7 Action News.